With the three mornings of training concluded, Molly heads out onto the open road to shadow super salesman Mark Murphy. His job is to show training salesman Molly how the theory works in practice. We'd already been shocked by the way the company teaches its salespeople to manipulate customers, but nothing could have prepared us for what we were about to hear. Last week, I went to see a guy, seven days later he died. Thankfully, it's, within, it's outside of the cancellation notice. I'm sorry about that, but that's how it happens, you know what I mean? Uh, so, I've still got my two grand commission coming on that. Remarkable how God works. Right. If you ever wanted someone to turn the toes up, yeah. having paid a load of dough, this was your guy. He's celebrating the death of one of his customers because it means he couldn't cancel his order and he still gets his commission. Keep watching, everyone. I think we've got something quite special here. Hello. Mark from Virgo Health here. Yeah. How are you? Molly and Mark Murphy arrive at their appointment. They've come to meet a man in his mid-80s who's expressed an interest in an armchair adapted to help him stand up because he's had two strokes, but he doesn't want to buy today. At a moment. No, thank you. OK. It's heard it all, hasn't it, in, in the future? Despite meeting resistance, Mark Murphy continues with the same pressure sales techniques we've already seen. Because of his age, it offers him a further 10% discount. After more than one hour and 40 minutes of pressure selling, Mark Murphy gets his sale. Bring the checkbook down. Check. No, check, check. Do, you, do, you want, do you want to do the check? check too, Back in the car, Murphy takes a few moments to congratulate himself on his latest triumph. Is that a masterclass in perseverance? Do not leave the beach. <laughs> not ever leave the beach and think it's a dead deal. It was like nicking a Mars bar off a baby. <laughs> so in two hours, we've walked out with 2,300 quid. How the f is that possible? That's about 500 quid worth of commission there for two hours' work. Mark Murphy's keen to relive every moment of the sale and even mimics the way a stroke has affected his customer's speech. As I said, look, look, um, you know, which one would you prefer? A day's chair or a bespoke? Um, no. So if I could get you a bespoke chair, would you have one? It depends on the part. What are we dealing with here? This man who's driving the car and imitating the speech impediment of his customer while rejoicing in the fact that he's taking thousands of pounds off him. I think he's um, just a, a callous individual whose only interest is self-interest, it appalls me. Who's to blame here? Who should we point the finger at? Is it the company or is it the individual salespeople? I think they're all to blame because they're all party to a particular technique of pressure selling. If that's the case, then we need to put a few tough questions to the de facto boss of ABM Mobility and now Virgo Healthcare Limited, this man, Amajit Gill. We're waiting for him as he arrives at his offices. Hello, Amajit. How are you doing? Matt all right, BBC Rogue Traders. It's good to see you. Yeah. I'll just ask you, do you have parents? Because I find it very difficult to believe that anybody that has parents of their own could run the sort of business that you do, the sort of business that appears to be based on bullying old people in their own homes into buying things for thousands of pounds. We've seen your salesman at work. It's a pretty unpleasant thing. Wow, is this what you're driving these days? So when you run a business which has a commission structure like the one that yours has, then what you're gonna get is misbehaving salesmen. It's natural that that's what's gonna be the product, isn't it? How does that feel? If that was your parents in that situation, how would you feel? Amajit Gill making his way off in a lot of German car. A new one of those costs as much as 160,000 fully loaded, which is what we assume Mr. Gill is. Before we go, we decide it's a good idea to let Virgo's neighbours know to look out for them on Rogue Traders. And as a little bonus, General Manager Sam Routh shows up for work. Hi, Sam, how you doing? Well, how are you doing? Yeah, Matt, all right, BBC Rogue Traders. He can't possibly be as lost for words as his boss. You have a, a structure, a commission structure, which re rewards people by paying them 50% over a certain point. So they're bound to ask for more money than that is actually worth after your At training. At the end of the day, everybody's got to make a living. Not that way. 
Um, not that way. Not from the elderly and vulnerable, Sam. We've seen you boasting in your sales talks about the amount of money that you can make out of people. We've seen Mark Murphy saying it's like taking a Mars bar from a child. We've seen Emma White pressure selling. I've when got, is this going to stop? I've got no further comments, mate. See you, Sam. Keep up the terrible work. <laughs>